All right, Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means He. Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh's name means He is or He to be or He exists. All right? Yahweh, and Yahweh is not a so called white man, He's a so called black man. Bahashem means in the name, Ba meaning in. Ha meaning the, Shem meaning name. All right, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Yah meaning he, and Yahweh Shai meaning save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai's name means he is the savior or he is the, the deliverer. All right, and Yahweh and Yahweh and Yahweh Shai also is a so called black man. He's not a so called white man. Baha Shem once again meaning in the name, and Racha Kodash meaning the Holy Spirit. Racha meaning spirit and Kodash meaning holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in, in the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right. And this lesson, you know, after seeing this bridge collapse, man, you know, a thought that came to my mind was, you know, can't you see that the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is destroying America? He's destroying America as a Brother said, all right, he, the Lord is destroying America from the inside out, okay? We all know what the last step to America's destruction is, which is those nuclear missiles, but the Lord is destroying America from the inside out, man. You know, you had this bridge collapse. You look, you see this photo, this bridge is broken, okay? You know, you got this, you got the migrant situ situation, you know, um, disturbing people and things like that, you know? You got these gas prices going up and stuff. You know, inflation. Okay. The election coming up. You know, talks of a cyber attack. The thing on April 8th. Man, the Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is destroying America, man. Okay. And this is that's just a thought that came to my mind after seeing this. Okay. And regarding this bridge collapse, you know, it, you know, well, matter of fact, because... You know, the Lord, you know, the Lord brings the, the good and the bad times, okay? But, you know, people, you know, talk about this bridge collapse and things. Man, they say a boat had ran into it, all right? But ch check this out. Even if that is the case, this book of, I think it is the case, but either way, Amos chapter 3, verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Sh or sh or sh Slot, let me reread it again. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai hath not done it? See? So the Lord is the one that, um, you know, he, he, he brings the good and the bad times. Let me get a precept to this. He's in control of all these things. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. Says I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Says I, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So the Lord is the one that, you know, brings these things, man. Brings these, you know, brings the good and the bad. You know, the good times and the bad times. You know, He brings all of this. All right, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure people died off of this, but even that too. You know, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-two and verse thirty-six. Says, see now that I even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see, so the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. He wounds and heals, man. All right, I'm pretty sure a lot of people had died, you know, in that um wreck. First Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. You see? You know, so the Lord kills, man. All right. You know, and not only is this bridge going to collapse, but America as a whole is going to collapse, man. Okay. You know, it, 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 this, this place is finished, man. America is finished, bro. All right. You got these people talking about, ah, you know, this is Jake on a job, you know, kind of cool with, you know, but he, he was talking and stuff and he was saying, Talking about, you know, years from now, you know, we were talking about something. He said, you know, years, he said the words years from now. 
And it's like, man, this place don't got years from now, man. You know? And that brings me to the next point I wanted to make out because or bring out because I typed this on Google. How long do empires average last? How long do, pretty much I asked how long do empires on average last? And the answer is 250 years. Studies show that an empire survives on average a mere 250 years. Did you know that? You know, I'm going to stop right there, but, you know, let me get this. Um, how long has America been a country? Uh, when did America start as a country? July 4th. Let me just see some. It's July 4th, 1776. So if I do the math. Let me just check something real quick. 2024 minus 1776. 248 years. Okay? You know? <laughs> Man. You know, we're not saying, you know, I'm not saying that America's going to go down exactly at 250 years. Okay, America go down next year. All right, it could go down this year. Okay? This year, a positive hard coin, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right? You know, so, <laughs> hey man, lucky, but this place is through. Okay, this place is through, man. You know, the Lord purposes for America to be destroyed. All right, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter nine and verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. See, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, he's going to destroy America off of the face of the earth. By way of what? Those ICBMs, those intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right? It's going to wipe America off the face of the earth. All right? So it's saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. All right? America is finished, man. There is no future for America. The only future for America is the desert. All right. You know, that's in the scriptures, man. You know, the, the missiles, they're going to make this place desolate. You know, you got all these things going on within America, all this trouble. OK, all these things, man, all this trouble and chaos brewing up. You know, you got all these things. You know, you got talks of if the election is going to happen. OK, you have talks. of. Let me say it again. You have people talking about if the election is going to happen, man. Can't you see America is finished? Can can't you see that? This this place is through, and the Lord is you know, the Lord is you know the Lord is the one that's taking this place down, man. All right, America's finished, bro. There is no coming back for this place. It's only a matter of time until Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai destroys this place. Ultimately, all right. It's only a matter of time, man. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, um, starting in verse 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, Jesus' excellency, shall be as when Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Verse 21, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there. So after America is destroyed, you're only going to have desert animals living here, right? The point is in the, in the next verse, verse 22, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces and her time, America's time, is near to come. Her time, America's time for destruction is near. And her days, America's days, shall not be prolonged. So this place, you know, America is going to be, it's, it's over. It's over, man. It's over. Okay? It, it, there's no coming back for this place. You know, you got these, you know, people, you know, thinking, you know, Trump, you know, trying to come in. Let me just see, type in on Google and see what I find. Um... Let me 
しい。Well, this is from like February 7th, 27th, 2024. It says, Hope and fear, Americans' emotions about the 2024 presidential election. It says, A nation in the grip of electoral anxiety, Americans' emotions about the 2024 election. Right? Because working with YouGov, the UMass poll fielded a survey to a sample of 1,064 American adults, which was weighted to be nationally representative of the U.S. adult population. In the survey, we explored Americans' hopes and anxieties about the 2024 presidential election. Our survey revealed that the 2024 presidential contest, which will almost certainly feature a rematch between Democratic President Joe Biden and Republican former President Donald Trump. Is one that relatively few Americans want. Americans express hope for progress on key issues if their preferred candidate wins the election. But they are fearful that a victory by the other party's candidate could pose a fundamental threat to safety, freedom, and democracy. You know? But you could hope all you want, okay? It, it, it's, 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 this place is done for, all right? No, regardless of if there's election or not, America's done for. If whether you know someone wins the election or not, if there is one, all right, it's done for. Second Ezra sixteen and one. Woe be unto the Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto the Egypt and Syria. Okay, it's so like you. You know, woe, which means destruction, be unto Babylon, America, and Asia, different Asian countries. You know, the scripture lists these different places, which also show that America won't be the only place hit by these plagues. Verse 2, gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. You see this? These people's destruction is at hand, man. It's over. It's over. Like the brother Chappelle in the can says, it's over. <laughs> you know, it's over for, for America, man. You see, this place is done. There is no future here. All right. You know, like, that doesn't mean, you know, get up. You know, I'm not telling the Israelites, you know, to get up and fly to another country. No, man. All right. Because we know that Yahweh Shai is coming back. And Lord willing, we be of the elect. And you know, that number, we get delivered out of here. Let me get that precept. I'm going to come right back to this, Lord willing. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. It, as a matter of fact, Actually, I'm going to read Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay? And this verse is talking about the elect being beamed up into the chariots. Let me get a precept. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. You see? You know, so the Lord is going to deliver his elect, man. You know, the Lord's going to deliver, you know, it's like out of, out of not only America, but out of all different places around the world. But, you know, into what? Into what the world calls so-called UFOs or a so-called UFO, because there might just be one big one, one big chariot. All right, because that's what they're actually called, the chariots of the Lord. All right, that's what the so-called UFOs are actually called, the chariots of the Lord. There might just be one big one that comes and delivers, you know, the um, the elect, you know, that, you see? But nevertheless, the elect won't be hit by that, um, that destruction, you know? <clears throat> But let me get back to that scripture. You see? So, yeah, this place is going down. All right? And Jacob's trouble is going to ensue across the whole world. All right? Not only America, but in America, too. Okay? And But the Lord is going to protect and preserve his elect. You see? All throughout Jacob's trouble. Let me get that, actually. This is the book of Job, chapter 5. And verse 19, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, and seven nations no evil touch thee. And these troubles, you know, they're synonymous with the seven, you know, the seven trumpets, you know. Uh, so 
this is he shall deliver thee in six troubles. So the Lord is going to protect and preserve his elect all throughout Jacob's trouble, man. You see? In famine, he shall redeem thee from death because there's a famine coming. All right? But the Lord is going to feed his servants, you know? The Lord said, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You know, my servants shall drink, but ye shall rejoice. So the, the servants of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to be fed during the famine. All right? So it's a war from the power of the sword. Right, man. You know, the troops and things. You know, the Lord's going to protect his men from that. Verse 21, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So the elect, they're going to laugh at the different judgments and things that's going to be happening to people. All right. They're going to have a heavy spirit on them to where they're going to be laughing. All right. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Because the animals are going to be out here, man. But the elect, see, they're going to be, you know, they're they not going to be afraid of the animals. Verse 23, and the animals won't harm the elect. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. You see that? So, even in Jacob's trouble, the elect, you know, are going to be taken care of. Okay? But, you know, when them new, and, and when them nuclear missiles hit, you know, um, when, when those nuclear missiles hit, man, you know, it's... You know, the elect are going to be beamed up into the chariot. All right. Well, second answer is 16 and 2 again. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Verse 3, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you and who may quench it? Okay. So, a sword is sent upon you. Who may turn it back? This is why the script, I got a note here. It says, this is why the scripture said, woe unto thee in verse one, because a sword is sent upon them, which is so represents destruction, mainly in the form of the nuclear missiles, as well as other plagues. A sword is used as a killing instrument, and these missiles and other plagues will kill people. And who may turn it back, meaning the calamities the Lord has said to happen won't be undone. All right, so these things are going to happen. The plague's coming, so things ain't going to get better. Verse four, a fire is set among you, and who may quench it? Right, you know, this is ultimately talking about the nuclear missiles. Verse 5, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Hell no, you know. Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn? Nope. <clears throat> you know. Um, bear me one second. You know, you see a lion that's hungry, you know, in the woods, you wouldn't be able to turn him away. Verse seven, this is made one turn again, the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. Right. So if archer is shooting an arrow. You know, he's shooting an arrow. You know, you are you going to be able to reverse that arrow and send it back? No, you're not. All right. So, verse 8, the mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Nobody. You see? So, it's, you know, giving examples, man. You know? Just like you won't be able to turn away a hungry lion. You know, you won't be able to reverse the arrow that shot of an archer. Okay? The, Lord's, the Lord is the one that's sending, any, sending these plagues. So, no one can drive them away. The Lord is the one sending them, man. Verse 9, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? You see? So stuff ain't going to get better, man. The Lord is going to destroy America. Let me get this, because, you know, this is all, you know, that bridge collapsing, too, is around the, the Passover season as well. You know, just, you know, the Passover, you know, just came in uh, last Saturday night, all right? And, you know, the Feast of Unleavened Bread ends this upcoming Saturday night, all right? You know, so, um, you know, <clears throat> you know, the fact that this happened around the Passover season and just thinking about, you know, back in ancient Egypt, the Lord destroyed ancient Egypt, you know, you know, the Lord was plaguing ancient Egypt. <laughs> okay. You know, the Lord was, you know, shaking up ancient Egypt, man. The Lord, you know, he's shaking up this modern day Egypt because America also is the, the modern day Egypt, all right? 
America is modern day Egypt, man. All right. So lock in for the noise in the background. Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Yeah, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. America is spiritually called Sodom because it upholds and practices that H-O-M-O -O behavior. In Egypt, because, well, you know, that was a hardcore captivity for Jake back then. This is a hardcore captivity now, you know? You see? So, America is the new Egypt. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 tells you, I don't have to go to it, but, you know, it tells you, you know, the Lord bring us into Egypt again with ships, all right? But let me get this, you know, since I got that, this is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And this is talking about, you know, Yahushua coming back, delivering his elect. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. And so we're going to hit this new Egypt, a.k.a. America, with the same plagues and then some that he hit ancient Egypt with. And will destroy all the land thereof. So the Lord's going to destroy America by way of these nuclear missiles. You know, and also another thing, you got Russia. Okay, you got Russia, you know, being talked about. And by the way, Russia is one of the main places that's going to, you know, shoot missiles on America. Okay. Um, Revelation 13, let me just check something. Yeah, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Because, you know, when a leopard talking about the Greeks, okay, the ancient Greeks, because that's when the so-called white man became into power, right? You know, that's, that's the, well, that's, you know, the beginning, you know? Yeah, you know, the beginning of when the so-called white man came into power, you know, when E came into power. And his feet were as the feet of a bear, and the feet represents the end of a thing, you know? And the bear represents Russia, okay? That, that's talking about Russia, you know? Because Russia is going to be one of the main places, you know, that's going to shoot the nuclear missiles on America, you see? You know? <clears throat> It says in the mouth in his mouth as the mouth of a lion. All right. And the note I got here, the line represents Great Britain, the United Kingdom or England, you know, because really all of the legislation in the top international bankers like the Rothschilds, etc., all come out of Great Britain. All right. You know, so. Russia is one of the main places that's going to be shooting nuclear missiles on this place, man. All right? So, you see, America is finished all across the board, man. America is finished. It's literally only a matter of time. All right? It's only a matter of time till America, you know, is finished. Okay? And let me get this. this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 14. The great day of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is near. It is near and hasted greatly. And that day the Lord is when the nuclear missiles are shot and the chariots return. All right. You know, when Yahweh shot and the chariots return, you know, and on that day, America is going to be destroyed. All right. Because, they, you know, you have to understand that that is going to happen on that day. All right. Because, you know, and by the way, we don't know when that day is, but we know when we're close, that we know that we're close. It's Mark. Chapter 13 and verse 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son but the Father. So only the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, knows when the day Yahweh Shai returns is. All right. He's the only one that knows when that day is coming. Yahweh Shai himself doesn't know, nor the angels, nor any man, only Yahweh. You see? You know, but. <clears throat> um, let me get back to Zephaniah 1. So when that day comes, all right, you have to understand that on that day, when Yahweh Shah returns, that's the day of the Lord, okay? And America is going to be destroyed on that day because think about it, right? When Yahweh Shah returns, okay, he's going to beam up his elect, 
into the chariot, all right, or into the chariot, okay, you know, and scriptures say, the scriptures say, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 15, starting at verse 1 through 2, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 2, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them, and that sea of glass mingled with fire is talking about the um the firmament, you know, and the fires from the nuclear missiles hidden. You see? And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten a victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> All right, so, and that, and them that is talking about right here is talking about the elect. So the elect are going to be in a chariot above the firmament watching the nuclear destruction take place. You see, but the elect are going to get beamed up, man. All right, they're going to get beamed up. You see, the elect are, the elect are going to get um beamed up into the chariot, you know. Meanwhile, People that's going to still be down here, you know, they're going to be getting destroyed. Okay. Revelation 11 and 13. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, the nuclear missiles, Isaiah 24 and 20. And the earth shall reel to and for like a drunkard. And the 10th part of the city fell. And the city's talking about America. And it's the 10th part. When you look, go into the Greek of this word, for that word 10th, the 10th part. All right. It goes back to 10. All right, because America is divided up into 10 FEMA regions. All right, so it, it, the word in here says the 10th, but really it should say the 10 parts of the city fell. All right, so all of America is going to be destroyed by this nuclear destruction. All right, it says, and then the earthquake or in the nuclear destruction was slain of men, 7,000. 7,000 means completion. Seven, You know, so it's going to be. Pretty much anyone that's standing on the soil of America when a nuclear missile is touched down are going to be destroyed. You know, anyone that's standing on the soils of America when a nuclear missile is touched down is going to be destroyed. And the remnant were afraid and they gave glory to the power of heaven. So even the elect will be a little afraid of seeing the destruction, but they're going to see it though. You see? So the destruction is going to happen the same day when Yahweh Shai returns. All right? Because... <clears throat> You know, because, you know, the elect, they're going to be delivered, you know, from, you know, they, they, they're going to be beamed up. I'm going to just say it like that. All right. The elect, you know, this, the, the nuclear destruction and, the, and your Howard Shah's return are going to happen on the same day. All right. You know, um, Zephaniah 1 and 14 again. It says the great day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is near. It is near, it hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right. You know, so that day of Yahweh, that day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is near, man. All right. But before that day comes, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, continually destroy America and just crumble it, man. You know, this place has to go. All right, America, see, it's Jake done got too caught up in America, man. You know, you forgot that this was uh, the place, you know, one of the places of our punishment. All right. America, Babylon the Great, the, the modern day Egypt. Okay. Rome all over again. All right. You know, the, the America, man, this, this, this place has to fall. Okay. You know, we weren't sitting here to live it up. We were sent here to serve out like a, you know, a prison sentence, you know, so-called, okay? But our time has come, our, our, our time is, you know, our time of um, prison is coming to an end, man. Our sentence is coming to an end, fastly, as you can see, all right? Day by day, it's close. We're already, <laughs> it's 2024, this is now, and it's March going into April, <laughs> man, you know, so... 2024, hopefully you're Jacob's trouble, man. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right. Okay, you know, and the title of the lesson, once again, is Can't You See America? 
<clears throat> Can't you see America is finished? All right. So with that, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew is Shalom. So Shalom to the elect.